you need to check out is ACR Solar. Go to acrsolar.com. USC legend, great cup champion, NFL quarterback, and uh, BattleBots host. Here's Sean Salisbury. Always amazing to have Sean on each and every week. The busiest guy in sports talk radio. Probably the busiest guy, period, end of statement. The uh, Denver Broncos in primetime, we, we opened the show with this, have been absolutely horrific. Uh, last night, overtime, 19-16, to 16, they lost. Uh, 12 to nine, they lost to the Colts. These are all primetime games. 11 to 10, they beat the Niners and they lost to the Seahawks 17, 16. So my question for you, Sean, and good morning is, are we being punished somehow as NFL fans? And what can we do to atone? Yeah. And who would have, thanks for having me on guys. Who would have ever thought? that going into the season, a game that featured uh, like Herbert and Russ Wilson, and you throw 50 sometimes if you're Herbert, who's a great player, and you throw no – I think it's the first time in NFL history a guy's won a game, thrown 50-plus times and not thrown a touchdown pass. And then the other guy's been – if you didn't know who Russ Wilson was, you'd think he was just some dude who's been a backup, sometimes starter on a team, hoping to earn the job. That's what it's like. And when you got the comedy, so we're getting punished by it, but the Broncos and the Chargers, we would think good football. I don't know what it is on uh, some of these primetime games. Like, why aren't we getting great football? But, you know, what? luck of the draw, I guess. And Monday nights, Thursdays are worse, as you guys know. But when the Denver Broncos play, you can expect good defense and pretty pitiful offense. And it's a bad combo when the head coach and the quarterback are both very average. And that's what you got last night and what you've got all season long in Denver. Sean, why would you say Russ is average? What's happened to him? Well, you, you've watched. I'm not talking about his career. This is a Lifetime Achievement sure, Award sure. conversation. This, for me, is this year, six games. I mean, if it was Baker Mayfield or Kyler Murray, we would destroy them. We would go all in and say, because we're going to hear this, and I would take Kyler out of it. Geno Smith, I guess, and you take him out of it because he was in Seattle, but like a Baker Mayfield, somebody who switched teams and is now the quarterback, who's a veteran, we'd say, oh my gosh, this is awful. Why is he the quarterback? Switch him. If you didn't know Russ Wilson's background, and and I've pounded the table for him, I think the guy's a Hall of Famer, special. But if he he was supposed to upgrade, and I don't want to hear, well, it's a new system, and it's new, it takes a while. Well, we're not saying that about it takes a while to other guys who are just getting started unless they're rookies or second-year guys. I mean, Baker Mayfield's getting hammered, and he should. He's he's not playing good football. So I guess maybe the bar has been set pretty damn high by Russ Wilson. We are at a point now where it's like the bar was set so high. And I like I said before, there's 15 or 20 quarterbacks. I'd take Geno Smith over him tomorrow. Wow. He's the worst quarterback in the division. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's he's not comfortable in the system, if he's skittish, if he's at the point in his career where it's just I'm playing it safe. I'm not. I don't, I don't doubt that he's competitive and wants to win. I, I don't mean that, but the guys, the guys set the bar so high. I there's nothing about him. If I was picking fantasy or if I was picking a league of of, of GMs and saying we're going to pick all the starting quarterbacks in the league, uh, and you got to twelve, I wouldn't take Russ Wilson right now. Lifetime achievement award, damn right. From this year, what I saw, Russ Wilson is just a guy and Nathaniel Hackett's in over his head. Sean Salisbury joining us. Normally in Sacramento, I'm not going to ask you a Houston Texans personnel question, but I think this is an important topic that's going to get swept under the rug nationally. Jack Easterby was fired by uh, the Texans. Many would say finally. Now, Sean, I'm an outsider. I'm, I'm an outsider looking in. That's the caveat. This guy seemed like an absolute fraud and seemed like, one of those guys that you just don't understand how he was part of an NFL organization. But you do your morning show there. You cover this team. Uh, I was hoping you could shed some light on that move. Yeah, and, and, and you did, Dave. You're right on. Listen, I'd never met Jack personally. And I, I'm not going to kick a guy in the rib cage when he's down and say, oh, good, good for him, hate his family. I, it has nothing to do with family. It's sure. not personal. And for me, you know, he's a very religious guy, and a lot of people are. I, to me, that's fine, too, just like you wouldn't badger somebody for being religious. I wouldn't get on somebody who's not religious and doesn't want religion shoved down their throat. It's, that's for them to decide. So people get on him here about all oh, the religion and stuff. Well, slow your roll. I'm talking about him as a guy in the building, as a football guy. He was a chaplain 
who had somehow manipulated his way to be a vice president of a football team and, and with no football background, meaning personnel background. And Bill Belichick even said it when he came from New England. Jack, the, 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 the talk is in the building. He put his nose in too many different departments, yeah. and it got in at war thin. And he'd been doing it since he's been there. So if you don't feel included in the, in the building, and he feels like he's meddling in every – it's like the helicopter parent that's there, yet you're the jack of all trades, no pun intended, but you're not mastering your own trade. I think Jack wants to be a football guy but isn't. And it's not personal, but he it, it was time because there, people weren't comfortable in the building. He just, the, the clicks started to form with Jack Easterby. You need a football guy, and you need a guy people respect in the building. I don't think there was a lot of respect. And I was told yesterday that this has been going on for months as far as the, the getting ready to get him out, and they finally did. The football franchise will be better for it because he's not a personnel guy. He somehow worked his way to, the, to, to one of the top positions, being the team chaplain. Sean, got to ask you about uh, New York football, specifically the Jets and the Giants. They'll take the Bills out of this. The records suggest they're good, but are they? Are the Jets and Giants for real? I, I we got to buy into it. Think about this, guys. For the Giants, first off, at five and one, all they got to do is play sub five hundred football, win five games. They're going to make the playoffs. The NFC is wow. not good. The yeah. Packers right now are fairly laughable on offense. They're not that the, the the Buccaneers seem to have a lot of a lot of the holes in their offense and in their football team right now, you look around, the NFC is not very good. So play sub 500 football and you're in the playoffs. I love what Brian Dable's doing. I love his energy on the sideline. We knew he could coach and call plays, but they, the buy-in man, I'm big on buy-in and they actually believe they're good. So yes, when you say pretender or contender for me, a contender for the Super Bowl, I don't think so, but I do believe they're a contender for the playoffs. I think the jets, I'd probably say, playoff pretender maybe because i think the afc is a little better mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean they're not going to put themselves in position to have a chance in december robert Sala is a phenomenal uh, coach who the players love but they also respect i don't like to use the term players coach because i think that to me says well it's too much fun and he's got a good staff and, and michael lafleur i love what they're doing there it seems like zach wilson is starting to come around I think they're a year away from us saying they are actually going to be fun to watch in the AFC East, but they are going to eliminate somebody along the way from a playoff chance because the Jets are a good football team. Yes, they're real. It's no longer just the Buffalo Bills in the state of New York. Sean Salisbury with us. Sean, did you think beginning of the season, as we wrap up here, we'd be saying the San Francisco 49ers could conceivably sneak into the playoffs based on the fact that their division stinks record-wise? Yeah, it, it is. I expected far more from Arizona. The Rams, I thought there'd be a letdown. I just didn't think they'd be so lack of physicality and so blah. They're just talk, talk, we talk about Green Bay and Tampa, that the Rams are there too. And the Seahawks are actually putting themselves in position to, to, to have a little competitiveness. And the 49ers, with all their injuries, I'm not making an excuse, but when their personnel is fully healthy, they are a playoff team. They're going to win the division, in my opinion, but you can't go on the road, and Atlanta's been a surprise. Can't go on the road and turn the ball over, drop passes, get penalties, and expect to win. But it won't be by default. At some point in time, Dave, they'll get on a roll and get healthy, and they'll be fine. And, and once that roster's right, they're going to win the division because I think they're the best team in the division. Then we'll see how they get through the playoffs with the quarterback. He's the best in the business. Sean Salisbury does his morning show in Houston. Is highly successful morning show i should say and sean i'm very much enjoying the videos to preview your show you're looking very trim very fit you had a sweater or something on the other day i was saying that's a it's a fine looking man you're doing great work and uh, we appreciate you joining us each and every week thank you sexy never took any time off brother you know that i appreciate it guys Thanks. See you, brother. that is sean 